everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you're having a wonderful day. Y'all, it's a haul. Stay tuned. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to stop by. And a big welcome to all of my new subscribers and a very big thank you to everyone who is supporting me in so many positive ways. I know that you could be anywhere else right now. You could be doing so many other things and you've made a choice to spend some of that time with me and I don't take that lightly and I am so very appreciative. Y'all know how much I love stickers and I have been using stickers on my channel since I started on YouTube and before. I love using stickers. Stickers do have a place in our crafting. They help to simplify some of the crafting that we're doing. They help to fill in the blank where we might be missing just that little something that we need to really make our craft pop. Today, I am going to share with you guys a haul that I did from the Dollar Tree. I hauled a whole bunch of stickers because they are stickers that I like and stickers that I will be using in my paper crafting. But I really want to stress that even if you don't have a Dollar Tree or you don't have access to these stickers, there are comparable stickers on the market. Amazon is full of stickers. Google searches will bring up so many stickers, flat stickers, 3D stickers, puffy stickers. If you don't have access to what I'm showing today, you are not excluded from being able to do some of these sticker crafts. Just get creative on where you're looking for those particular stickers. I am going to show you some very gorgeous stickers, but I'm also going to do a very quick project share because as most of you know, my philosophy is if I haul it, y'all are going to see me using it. So you know what time it is. It's time to get started. All right, y'all. So here's a look at some of the stickers that I bought from the Dollar Tree. This isn't all of them, but I wanted to give you a look at some of the stickers that I'll be using as I craft throughout the year. So I'm gonna move these out of the way so that they won't be too distracting. So these stickers in this pack are just craft paper stickers. I see these as being great for labels, for journaling spots if you have something really small that you want to notate, or you can actually do a rub on on these or layer a sticker on top. And then I was able to find quite a few awesome word stickers. These actually have the feel of being embossed and they say smile, dream, true love, wish, and sweet. And they look like wood. So anytime I'm looking for a more masculine feel to my project, a sticker like this is going to be perfect because it's not full of that frilly, the pink, the flowers. It really is very subdued and lends itself to a more masculine vibe. And then I love this. These are various friend stickers and it has wonderful sayings about friends. The only way to have a friend is to be one. Good friends are hard to find, harder to leave, and impossible to forget. A good friend knows all your best stories, but a best friend has lived them. So if you're looking for something that you want to make for a friend, stickers like this can really help you fill in the blank. And then these are just word stickers of encouragement. You're awesome, you're a star, winner. They just have so many wonderful little sayings and they have that chalkboard look. So I'm trying to make sure that I don't get as much glare on here as I think I might be seeing, but hopefully you're getting a good look at these because I don't want to take them out of the pack. And then I have some movie stickers. So if you have a movie buff in your house or you want to give the gift of movie tickets or a night out at the movies or you're hosting movie night at your house, perfect for that. So you've got your movie night sticker, showtime, star of the stage. So if you have someone in your family who enjoys acting and they are in drama or theater, this is a great way of creating a card or a scrapbook page for that person. And these are just very feminine stickers. These will be great for Mother's Day crafting or crafting for your best girlfriend or someone like that. They really are very pretty. And then I was able to find some beautiful stickers about family. So this one is all about grandpa. So if you wanted to make a grandpa page, if someone has become a new grandpa, this is a great sticker set where you can make something for them for Father's Day or for a birthday to be able to recognize them as a grandpa. And on the flip side, there's grandma. So they have wonderful stickers for grandma as well. I just absolutely love these. And I'm actually planning on using this sticker set on a future project that I'll share with you guys, not today, 
but I will be sharing this because I do have something that I need to make for a grandmother and I think parts of this will fit. And then they have these awesome family word stickers that are just perfect if you're doing any type of a family page or book. So there are things on here like the love of a family is life's greatest blessings. Together we make a family. Family where life begins and love never ends. Just beautiful stickers that you can use to represent your family or someone else's. And then I thought these were very happy and springy. They just say lucky and happy. But if you're putting together a nice jumbo card or you're making a box, this would be perfect on that. So I am going to be using a lot of my stickers in my crafting. So you'll get to see how I would use some of these. And then I got some of these little um, acetate hearts and they're stamped with color. And I thought these would be perfect as rosette centers. So if I make a rosette and I layer it, I thought this would be perfect on top of that rosette. So you might actually see that project sometime in the near future. And then I absolutely drooled when I saw these because they are gorgeous. They have the look of enamel and porcelain, but they're just puffy plastic stickers. And you can see, hopefully you're able to see that these are just very well detailed, vibrant in color. And then look at the vibrancy on this one. This really does look like porcelain, but it's not, it's just stamped plastic, but it is beautiful as are these. They give you the look of brushed metal, but they're puffy stickers and they are just so pretty. And there are so many things that we'll be able to do with stickers like these in our crafting. And I've also seen something similar to this on Amazon. I didn't order them from them, but if you're looking for puffy stickers, just go online and type in floral puffy stickers and see what comes up. Calling all music lovers, they have you covered because there are stickers for everything at the Dollar Tree. My nephew is a saxophone master. So if I was to make something for him, and use that saxophone, he would totally get it. Mike loves to play the guitar. My youngest daughter loves to dabble on the piano. When I make something for them using these stickers, again, they will totally get it. So if you have a music lover in your family, I think these have you covered. And then I was able to find these sticker sets and they have a more masculine flair to them. And I think that's great because when we start crafting for Father's Day or we're crafting items for him, a lot of times we don't have a lot of embellishments that we can choose from. But when you look at this, you do have a lot of embellishment choices that are going to fall in line with the more masculine look that some of you might want for your projects. We have all of our corner pieces on here. These are nice metal edges. So if you wanted to make a box and put these on the edge, it'll look like you have a wraparound bracket on that box. Or we have our briefcase. I believe this is a flask. Might be a cologne bottle, um, keychain, luggage, compass, globe, hourglass. So many useful goodies that we now have available to us to be able to craft for him. And then I found these. Y'all, they are gorgeous. They look like metal brackets. They remind me of some Tim Holtz medals that I have, but they're not metal. They're actually puffy, but they look just like my metal stickers and they have a nice thick feel to them. So these are going to be perfect on so many different things. And then I found this beautiful foliage. Now on here it says magic on. I don't know what that means. I don't know if that means it's a rub on or these are very easily peeled and stuck down. But you know what? We're going to find out together exactly what magic on means because I will be using these in a craft. And then I found these beautiful pop-up stickers where you can build a scene because they give you all of the pieces to build that scene. So then I have my beautiful yellow truck here. And if I wanted to build a nice outdoor scene, I have a lot of different components to be able to do that. But then I also have this window look. So this would be great. Can you imagine this? Those of you who like to make shaker cards, you already have the window part here by putting some acetate behind it. You can make a beautiful shaker window card and then just embellish around it using some of the floral pieces that we have here. I picked up some alphabet stickers that have a donut type feel to them. So they've got that donut font as well as decorate it to look like various donuts. So that is it for this sticker haul. But I do have a very quick project share that I'd like to show you. And I made the project share from this sticker sheet here because when I saw it, I just fell in love with it. So what I decided to do is 
I know someone who has a birthday coming up and they love flowers. So I thought I'll make a floral card using this. And so what I did was it's a five by five card. I used the truck on the front. Then I just built up around it using the flowers. And you guys know me, I normally don't put this much on my card, but I thought the more flowers this time, the better. So it really is just a simple card based in black and white and then built up with pops of color. And then when you open the inside, and then we open the inside, I placed a pink mat and I added um, a birthday banner to the inside. So very simple little project share. Didn't want to do too much, but I did want to show you guys how we can take our Dollar Tree stickers and definitely work them into our crafts because I do like my little celebrate card. So I am bringing everything back in and you guys can fully expect to see me using these stickers and other items that you have seen me haul because as y'all know, I'm a big believer in if I haul it, I am going to use it so that I can share with you various ideas on ways that we can use some of the things that we might not ordinarily buy in our paper crafts. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed today's very quick project share and haul. If you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.